Hi, I'm Jonas, a winner of multiple national and international science olympiads. I'm privileged to have had support from the most amazing tutors in my hometown, and that's why now I am so passionate about helping students all across Britain to succeed in their exams. In this podcast, we go through easy to follow theory and examples to provide you with confidence and skills in the subject. Join me in the journey of making your exam experience a success story. Welcome back to our lovely podcast. I'm really happy that you're listening to this episode. And before we start, I would like you to do two things. First, if you know someone who could benefit from listening to this episode, please share it with them. That's how we can support more students with the preparation for their exams. Secondly, if you love listening to our podcast, it would be great if you could leave a five-star rating or a review. Now let's go through some theory about factorizing quadratics. Factorization is the inverse process of expanding brackets. A quadratic expression can be factorized as a product of two brackets of linear expressions. A quadratic of the form x squared plus mx plus n can be factorized to open brackets x plus p close brackets, open brackets x plus q close brackets, where the product of p and q is n, and the sum of p and q is m. A quadratic of the form ax squared plus bx plus c can also be factorized. b must be broken down to the sum of two numbers, where the product of those two numbers is equal to the product of a and c. Factorizing common terms out will then give the final simplification of this. When one square number is being subtracted from another, the difference of the two squares can be taken. An expression of the form a squared minus b squared can be expressed as open brackets a minus b close brackets, open brackets a plus b close brackets. Okay, so let's have a look at a question from this topic. Kesha has modeled the trajectory of a ball by an expression 4x squared plus 7x plus 3. Factorize this expression. If you are unsure about how to solve this problem, you can visit the page of this topic, which is in the show notes. Now let's go through some theory about completing the square. When a quadratic expression is not a perfect square, that is, it cannot be separated exactly into fractors, it can be solved by completing the square. The square of an expression of the form ax squared plus bx plus c can be completed by putting it in the form of a open brackets, open brackets, x plus b over 2a, close brackets, squared, minus, open brackets, b over 2a, close brackets, squared, plus c over a, close brackets. Setting the squared term to be equal to 0 and solving for x gives the x-coordinate of the turning point of the quadratic equation. So let's see an example of a problem for this theory. Complete the square of the following expression, x squared plus 6x plus 11. There is a link in the show notes of this episode in case you want to double check the answer for this question. So that's the theory and questions for today. I hope you found them useful. If you want to access all the study resources that we have on our website, go to studysquare.co.uk forward slash all, which is A-L-L. I hope you have a great week ahead. Stay tuned for the next podcast episode and take care. Thank you for listening to Maths and Science Revision with Jonas. If you'd like to get hold of our exam revision guide, go to studysquare.co.uk forward slash PDF and let's turn your exam experience into a success story.